In this video, I'm going to show you adding effects with keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. So, we have a project set up here, and as a quick review to add effects to our tracks in Reaper, we can go up here to the effects button, which opens up the effects browser. Then we can choose the effect we want to add. Let's go to the Reaper effects. Let's say I want to add an EQ. Choose this one, double click it. That adds an EQ to that track. If we want to add a compressor, Choose this one. It adds a compressor after the EQ. I could add a gate right here. And those effects are all added to this track. But we could also do this a lot quicker using keyboard shortcuts. If we go to the effects button, choose the effect we want to add a keyboard shortcut to. I'll choose EQ, right click, go down here to create shortcut. That opens up this window. We can add a keyboard shortcut to add that effect to this track. I'm going to choose Control Q, hit OK, and now I can select this track, hit that keyboard shortcut, it adds an EQ to that track. Do the same with a compressor, right click it, create shortcut. I'm going to use Control C, hit OK, hit that keyboard shortcut, it adds it right there. Let's do one for the gate. Right here, right click, create shortcut. I'm going to use Control G. Then we can use that keyboard shortcut to add a gate to this track. Now, to see the keyboard shortcuts in this window, we could right click, go to Show and Effects List, and turn on the Effects Shortcuts, which is off by default. Now we could see the keyboard shortcuts assigned. To each effect over here. And we can right click it, we can delete them or edit and change that keyboard shortcut. And this will also work with multiple tracks. So if we choose all these vocals, type the keyboard shortcut for EQ, that adds an EQ for each one of these tracks. Want to add a compressor? Same thing. But you notice Reaper opens up a different window for each one of these tracks. If we don't want that behavior, we can go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac, which opens up our preferences and scroll down to plugins and turn off this option, auto open effects after quick add. This is on by default, but if we turn it off and do the same thing, let's add a bunch of gates, it adds them without opening up the window. They're still there, as you can see, but it doesn't open up an effects window each time. Add a compressor and an EQ. And those effects are all added to the tracks without opening up the effects windows, which is really helpful with the mixer. If we open our mixer, here's our tracks. We could select all the background vocals and hit that keyboard shortcut to add a gate. And it adds the gate to all the tracks without opening up the effects window. Add a compressor. Add an EQ or any plugin we set up. But again, this is on by default, so the dialogs will open. Now, this keyboard shortcut will also work for items. Over here, let's split this vocal item here and here and select it. Hit the keyboard shortcut for a compressor and it adds a compressor to this item. Add an EQ, same thing. So we can add these effects to our tracks or directly on the items. And this will also work with multiple items. So I want to add a gate to all these, select them all, hit the keyboard shortcut, and now a gate is added to each one of these items. Now we could also add keyboard shortcuts to effects chains. Let's create a chain on this track for a gate, a compressor, and an EQ. Let's make the settings how we want a vocal to be. Adjust our gate, maybe over here, the compressor, adjust the attack and release. And let's say we're happy with this effect and we want to use it on other tracks using keyboard shortcuts. We could right click, go to effects chains, and choose save all effects as chain. We can give it a name, save it, and now let's clear that effect. Open it back up, go to our effects chains, 
and our fix chain shows up right here. And now we can right click it, go to create shortcut, near the shortcut right here. I'll use control V. And now I can select this track, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it adds that effects chain with our gate compressor EQ exactly how we saved it. So it's a great way of recalling multiple effects and their presets, how we set them. And again, we could add it to multiple tracks just by selecting them all with that keyboard shortcut. And all those effects chains are now added to all these tracks. But we could also use effects chains just for one effect, just to recall that preset or the setting when we hit that keyboard shortcut. Let's add an EQ to this track. We'll set it up like a smiley EQ like this. Let's say we want to recall this with a keyboard shortcut. Just this one effect and its setting. We could right click it, go to effects chain, save selected effects as chain, give this a name, save it, go to effects chains, need a keyboard shortcut to this. I'll use Control S. And now we can select this track, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it adds that EQ with the setting or preset already set up. So we could use this to get a particular setting or preset already set up with a keyboard shortcut. And again, it's going to work with multiple tracks, all added with the same setting. But there's one problem with this method. It's going to use a lot of keyboard shortcuts if you have a lot of presets or effects chains or different effects you want to add with keyboard shortcuts. But luckily, in Reaper 7, we can use alternate keyboard shortcuts to do this. If we go to the Actions menu, Show Action List, right over here is the main section, which is what we use most of the time. But now in Reaper 7, we also have alternate sections over here which we could dedicate for things like effects. So I'm going to choose alternate eight. I'm going to rename it right here. So remember what we're using it for. And I'm going to dedicate this section just for adding effects to our tracks or items. Type into the filter gate. We have it right here. Add a keyboard shortcut. I'll type in just G. And notice it's already mapped to something else, but it's okay to override it because we're just overriding it in this section. The main section is still going to use G to group items. So we could override this and do the same for a compressor. We'll just use C and our EQ. We'll just use Q. For the vocal chain, We'll just use V, override it just for this section. And for the smiley EQ, we could just use the S key, which again overrides splitting our items. So now we could search in the main section, Alt, and these are all the actions we could use to switch to the alternate sections. Notice there's no keyboard shortcuts right now, but let's add one to this one. But instead of using toggle override, we could use momentary override. And what that's going to do is going to switch to alternate eight just for one keyboard shortcut. And then it switches back to the main section. So I'm going to add a keyboard shortcut to this. Now I'm going to use the F key, which is already set up to something else by default, but I don't really use that keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to use F. So remember, it's for effects. But of course, you could use anything you want. Hit OK. And now, if I type F and one of those other letters, it'll add that effect to our tracks or items. If I select the vocal, type F and C, it adds the compressor to that track. So now you can see we have a lot more keyboard shortcuts to choose from. All the letters on our keyboard even if they're being used for something else. For example, if I type F and S, it adds the smiley EQ to this track. But if I just type S, we can split our items. So we don't lose the main function. We're just using the alternate keyboard shortcuts by hitting the F key first. 
And then it switches back after we use it once. So I could select all these tracks, type F, V, and it adds the vocal chain we saved to all the background vocal tracks, as you can see right here. Want to add a gate to all these? Let's turn this off, go to our mixer, select maybe all the vocals, hit F and G, and it adds a gate to all those tracks. Or a compressor, F and C, F and Q, to add an EQ to all the tracks that were selected. And of course, this is also going to work on items. Select all these items, hit F and C. It adds a compressor to each one of these items. Add the vocal chain to this one, FV, and it adds it, all three effects, to this vocal item. So as you can see, by using the alternative keyboard shortcuts, you get a lot more keys to choose from. And you only have to hit two keys one after another without having to use any modifiers. Although you still can. But I find it a lot quicker just to select a track, hit F and C to add a compressor. Or F and G to add a gate. Or F and Q to add an EQ. Along with any effects chains we saved. FV for that vocal chain, or FS for that smiley EQ. So obviously, you can set up as many keyboard shortcuts as you need, one for each effect you want to insert at any point, giving you many keyboard shortcuts without having to change the default Reaper shortcuts. So that's pretty much it. That's adding effects with keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!